David Curtis here from the Western Mission Hills Golf Academy. Today, we're gonna to talk about swing plane. That's right, it's the angle during the golf swing that the club stays on. Well, which one are you? There's so many different ways that you can swing a golf club, absolutely. You see it on tour all the time. There's guys that get the golf club real vertical, right? There's, uh, there's gals that get a little bit flatter, right? There's a gentleman at, on tour that swings at every single golf club on a certain angle and he's proved that it works. He's won a few times already. So which one are you? Well, I'm here to kind of help out to give you a little idea on what I think that might be uh, one of the angles that you might want to be on. So um, kind of bear with me. I have a little alignment stick that helps out quite a bit. So let's say if I were to get my, and we'll, we'll talk driver right now, but just say if I were to set up my driver and I get behind the golf ball, right? I'm ready to hit. That shaft angle right there produces an angle, right? So when I make a golf swing, for me, I want to try to stay on that plane every single time. Okay? I'm not the golfer to go up above it, try to find it, and be on it here, or be below it, go above it, and try to match up. So to me, I've always played, hey, if I set up on this angle with a driver, well, I'm going to try to find that position, find that angle during the whole entire golf swing. On the back swing, down swing, and finish. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll show you a little idea that will help out quite a bit. And you have to work on it. Trust me, you're not going to get it the very first time. But, uh, but if you kind of start to develop this idea, you'll start to see really, really good hits with a driver. And uh, once again, who doesn't want more distance off the tee? Who doesn't want to be straighter, right? So kind of bear with me here. I'm just going to switch angles and I'll show you a little idea. When attempting this drill, you guys, I am not responsible for any broken drivers when you do this. So just a little warning, maybe try this with an old driver first before you do it with your new one. But, uh, to me, this, this angle right here is very, very, very helpful to see what type of swing plane you need to be on with a driver. So let's say if I were to get set up, once again, look at that position of the shaft. So I'm going to try to match that angle during my whole entire golf swing. Okay? I hate showing the bad, but once again, if I were if I were to go up here, I would probably enter into the ground three feet behind my ball. So if you struggle hitting longer golf clubs, that might be a, an issue. Now the correction, well, if you get up here, where will you have to go on the downswing? You're going to have to reroute and find plane again. So once again, to me, we want to stay mostly on that same angle. So let's give this a try. All right, so there you have it. Work on your swing plane. Maybe get like a pillow, put, uh, put your knees on the pillow, work on this in the living room a little bit. And you'll see really, really, really good clean shots with a driver. All right, gang, David Curtis signing off. Hopefully we'll see you here on the lesson team.